Hello traders and welcome to the weekly outlook and setups volume 123. It's Ilya here and as always I'm super grateful to have you on my channel. You probably know the drill. In this video we're gonna have a look at the market, how it developed this week, what opportunities did we have and what we can potentially expect for the upcoming week. So if you still haven't checked it out please do so. Yesterday I posted a trade setups breakdown video uh, on all the trades that I took, the trades that I missed because EU which is my main pair has been insane this week and I really gave my best to try to show you all the opportunities and all the potential that we were given. So I really hope all of you are having a profitable week and you managed to catch some of those volatile moves, all right? I was sick, I'm getting much better, so I want to excuse myself for my blocked nose. If it's annoying, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to give my best. And again, the weekly outlook is posted every Saturday, so there is no excuse, all right? If you are new to this channel, it's all about trading. I share these weekly outlook and setups every Saturday and once per week I share either an educational video or a trade setups breakdown video, so make sure you're subscribed. Turn on the notification bell in order not to miss all the future updates. And before we start, I want to let you know that I trade cryptos right now and I do it with Trader4x.com. It is an amazing broker that has low spreads and commissions, but I picked their eco account because for every lot that you trade, it goes towards planting 10 trees. So the commission goes towards planting 10 trees. So I really love this initiative as it's helping with the uh, with the environment so definitely check them out link will be down in the description and if you already did it let's head into the analysis all right let's get started with a dixie let's have a look how it performed this week and what we can potentially expect for the upcoming one so as you can see this weekly candle contains a lot of information because we opened right there the week began bearish, so we pulled back into the expected area. If you remember, this was actually the area that I was expecting for the market to tap. And also as a confluence, we had this 50% range that I've been speaking for already possibly four weeks, right? And as you can see the precision, we tapped inside 93,300 and then we saw a massive reaction to the upside. Currently, if this is about to be a higher low, what are we going to target? A new potential high. So let's mark it like this. Well, it's not one hourly high, but let's just keep it like that. And uh, potentially, I would expect right now the DXY to head for 94,500 or an even above. So let's see if this is going to be the case. Again, just to remind you, there was again this bearish candle that I've been speaking the whole week. We kind of very nicely tapped inside on Thursday with a massive bearish engulfing candle which is pretty much the very well-known manipulation. We have a kind of a range consolidation, a sharp move down and then a sharp move up. Okay, this kind of V shape. So this is definitely manipulation. We manipulated below the lows. Everybody thinks that the market is going down. So we have uh, sellers coming in right there, sell stops as well. Buyers get stop losses. So the buyers that entered from here, stop loss below, they get stopped out. And basically with all the news, we had a massacre, but of course, if you know what you're looking for, if you understand the market, which we do, and my community does as well, we managed to capitalize on this beautiful move to the upside. Okay. And uh, yeah, so right now, let's have a look. How are we actually going to adapt to the market? As I told you, I perceive this to be manipulation. So we had all of those flat lows right there. They were manipulated. And then right now we very sharply recovered to the upside and we created this break right there, break of structure. The market left a big wick. So this is definitely a lot of volatile price action. So as you always know, guys, I keep it simple, right? Of course, it's simple, but it gets a little bit more complex when it comes to the entries. And this is when you really need a strategy, okay? But currently on the hourly, the GXY has made this very nice push up after manipulating, after tapping into a daily area. As I said, my expectations are to have a new hard high, potentially. If, of course, the market does not really find the resistance, which I perceive the the biggest level of resistance to be this wick right there because if we drop to a lower time frame this is going to be a very nice area that also broke structure to the downside so as you can see we just kissed it right there we're having a reaction but what i would love to see right now is just a simple higher low okay so let's see how the week is going to open hopefully we're going to have a pullback as i keep telling you 50 percent pullback maybe a little bit lower creation of a higher low formation shift on the lower time frame and then potentially we can start heading higher uh, keep in mind also that we are we're gonna have a monthly closure right now. Yeah, I think on the first of November we're actually gonna have a new monthly closure. And if we have a look at this wick, 
how this week uh, formed. Basically, we had a bullish engulfing candle. Possibly, I told you this in the beginning of the month when I did the monthly analysis. And uh, I was looking for the market to pull back around 50% into this engulfing. So there it is. And why right now, if we have a look at this wick, usually wicks are going to get filled. So I really hope at the beginning of the month, we're going to have a, just a little pullback and then potentially to head for a new high high. And I can see that there is an unretested area right there. But possibly, guys, next week I might do a monthly analysis. So let me know if you would like me to do that. But right now, intraday, I'm looking for a pullback towards these areas right there and then to potentially see a reversal to the upside. So this is the DXY. Let's have a look at EU. Euro USD, the MVP of this week. Look at that bearish candle right there. A lot of opportunities to be taken. So if you still haven't, guys, make sure to check that video that I posted yesterday. I'm also going to leave a card right there in the corner. Okay. So again, let's give a brief um, outlook again. If you remember, we're having the swing high to the swing low. We did not fully pull back towards the 50%. Maybe if we take it like this, well, almost. Again, it's not supposed to be textbook perfect but this is basically the level that i was looking at on the weekly time frame if you remember the daily we also had this kind of range with this bullish candle so this was all the market needed to potentially uh, pull back and then reverse and as you see on thursday we had this massive run into the highs which was uh, again the news and then on friday we just massively plummeted to the downside which is really funny a lot of manipulation is going on uh, again we had these flat highs they were manipulated and right now we're having a break of the lows right there which is pretty bearish and again what my targets are going to be are these four hourly lows okay so let's drop basically to the four hourly to see how can we approach this market again uh, all of that mess right there eu usually does this you can see range manipulation the range range manipulation of the big range and then we just plummet to the downside so and there were opportunities to be taken right there i also showed one uh, in my yesterday's analysis so make sure to check it out unfortunately i again missed it due to being sick and in bed so i'm really pissed but again it is what it is we have to accept reality and not fight with it um right now massive four hourly push so again very similar to the dxy what i need to see is a pullback towards the 50 percent i can see that we have those two wicks that are possibly going to be something on a lower time frame you can see on the 15 minute this is where the market kind of gave us a little bit of a reaction. Maybe some people tried to go long from right there and then we just plummeted to the downside. So eventually, if EU pulls back towards this area, we can start looking for shorts. And as you can see right now, we are even changing the 15 minute structure. Uh, but again, I would not really recommend you guys to do this so early. Let's maybe wait a little bit into Monday to see how the market is really going to react because after this massive push, our yeah mostly our only option will be to take longs into the pullback okay so maybe if we have something like this and if you really see the market changing then we can potentially strike to the upside so this is what i would expect and i'm gonna share my thoughts on tuesday in my telegram channel so make sure to subscribe to it it's in the description down below all right and if the link doesn't work let me know because some of you tell me that it doesn't but for me it works perfectly so basically yes i promise to do a monthly analysis again just to recap where are we potentially going but again if you remember from the low to the high 50 percent is just about to get tapped and again the first target is going to be a retest of this week which we pretty much have exactly the same on the dxy and of course this big weekly range right there so my bias is perfectly shorts and it has been shorts for quite some time but of course if you're intraday traders you tend to go long you tend to go short and everything but at the end of the day guys you have to understand where is the hard time frame going okay and as you can see this week although we were bullish on the four hourly a little bit bullish on the daily the weekly prevailed we tapped into a weekly zone and we just plummeted to the downside okay so very simple analysis on eu again looking for that pullback towards this area a shift of market structure and then potentially to target a four hourly low so let's see how long is it gonna take again eu can just plummet to the downside and if it does this then potentially, yeah, we have to search for something on the left for it to find support and then to potentially start taking longs if we reverse. I hope this doesn't happen because it's going to make everything very tricky. So let's see if we have that pullback. And if not, we just adapt to the market and just go with it. OK, so that's EU. Let's have a quick look at EJ, which is a tricky pair right now because with all the flush on Euro USD and then we have JP, uh, USD JPY also doing some fun stuff. This one is kind of struggling right there on top, but we're having an overall bearish week. 
And again, if you remember, we are overall bullish on this market since we pulled back right here, which is a kind of a monthly pullback. We formed this big bullish engulfing candle, which is also a monthly bullish engulf. So what we can expect right now and even starting to forecast the next monthly candle is we can expect a wick down, which is going to be a pullback and then a potential push to the upside. OK, so currently, as this structure is broken, this makes uh, this our major higher low formation. There it is. This is on the weekly and then dropping on the daily. We can see that again, the market shifted from the downside, push, pullback, shift formation right there as well. If you mark it like this and right now we're in a massive uptrend. OK, so what we do again is we drop our range. There is 50 percent. And what we want to see is for the market to pull back below 50 percent and then to potentially start engaging in um, longs. What we do in the meantime is we go short, of course. OK, it was a little bit tricky since the open 20, 22nd push down, pull back short opportunity right there. We push lower. We kind of fail to break. We push a little bit higher, which kind of breaks the structure a little bit. Then we make a lower low. So then everybody's looking for shorts right there. But then the market manipulates above with this wick, stops out everybody. And right now we are on the move down. OK, we still haven't made a lower low, uh, but I'm quite confident that this push and this pullback is not a bullish sequence, right? We're not going to do this possibly. This bullish move was possibly manipulation uh, for the market to stop out all the people that were maybe holding shorts. And having their stop losses above those levels right there and right now potentially we are about to head into the 50 percent and the potential target will be yeah, i want to see a clear area maybe the eight hours yeah well some of that range right there will be the first target that i'm going to be looking at if we go short on your jpy how can we approach this one well let's look on the hour have a look so the market manipulated a massive pump to the downside so let's try to maybe take our range so i'm doubting right now if it should start from here or from there i'm gonna take it from here because this is where the real move started what i can see is this big wick right there acting as supply so let's see if we're gonna pull back towards that area we do not have anything in the middle pretty much nothing so this is definitely the level that i want to sell because have a look uh so where is this brush we have a break of structure the market pulls back lower high and since then we just plummeted to the downside no pullback okay so this is where the sellers were initiated so this is where potentially i'm going to be looking for shorts okay so this is my outlook on ej and if we continue to drop lower then this is fine because it's an option then what we have to do is just adapt to the market maybe it's going to tap into the demand we're going to start having some bullish price and then we're going to have a bigger pullback because it's going to look something like this and then potentially we might actually come and retest maybe this zone because this zone is going to be supply at that time but of course this is too far in time so let's see how the market is going to open currently my analysis is this looking for that pullback and a potential short above 50 percent if you want to go long of uh, the 50 minute is already shifted but it's slightly uh scary to go to do this on monday but basically you have a 50 minute shift you have a potential demand there right there so if the market taps your side look for the shift and maybe you can take a long but again Keep in mind that it's slightly risky, but definitely a potential opportunity. OK, so that's EJ. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's have a look at the Aussie starting from AU. Again, if you remember a couple of quite some weeks back, we, we forecasted that this high is going to get broken. We broke it and we still continue to push into the highs. And if we have a look at the monthly, we're going to have a massive bullish engulfing candle. So again, forecasting into the next month, usually we would have a little wick down and then potentially continue higher. So the bias is definitely bullish. And even from a monthly time frame, yeah, I said I'm going to do the monthly next week, but here I am doing it this week. From a monthly time frame, we can even target 0.80, okay? Because this is the higher high, the potential higher high on the monthly. The weekly starting to shift, so definitely the flow of the market is bullish. Right now, the biggest question is where are we potentially going to pull back? Well, our range starts from the low. It still hasn't ended right there. And as you can see on the daily, I don't like it too much but AU has been an amazingly trending pair because you can see like we have like small pushes pulls back big push then pull back then really starts to slow 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 but it still keeps moving up okay so I am still actually looking for that bearish sign that the market is actually gonna stop and reverse because we do not have it yet all right as you can see on the hourly, like we had a little bit of a shift right there but we immediately turned bullish the 4 hourly has been quite difficult to trade on AU, but my community is crushing AU. And I'm even starting to think that I should start trading in more actively as well. Uh, but yeah, currently, 
if we try to find where did the higher low originate from it's this big candle which we already tap inside so as you can see this candle uh, manipulated below all of these lows right there something like this manipulated and then broke structure into the high so this for me is my higher low formation we currently tap inside so let's see how it's going to react uh, we're still bullish and if this level fails only then we're going to get bearish if you have a look on the hour we're kind of in a reversal phase but this is this is fine because simply in order for the full hourly to pull back the hourly and the 15 minute have to change okay but as you can see on the 15 minutes since we changed uh, we had a couple of shorting opportunities right there which is amazing right here break of structure next short is right there and just very nice lower high formations okay so i'm gonna keep the analysis simple right now we're reacting from this level right there we kind of tapped inside you can also see what we have right here it's pretty flat lows right there this is what i call them something like this we manipulated below them we tap into this area and right now we're starting to react and also you can see on the 15 minute we're starting to break structure okay but i really need to see this move being sustained before engaging into longs because maybe we're gonna have another run into the lows maybe come even deep into this wick and then potentially start to change again okay but as long as we remain below this uh sorry above this low i am still considering this one to be longs okay and potentially if we have a break of this one this is when my higher time frame is gonna change okay and this is when i'm gonna say cool au is initiating the pullback and we can look for shorts anywhere kind of inside this uh, this empty space right there something like this and if you drop to daily probably there is gonna be something there is this little range right there okay so this is my plan on AU still looking bullish. There is no need to say that we're bearish. The market is extended. Yes, but we do not have the shift yet. So let's wait for it. And again, if the market taps inside and give us a nice reaction, we can definitely continue looking for longs because again, the market is long and we stick with the trend until it changes. Okay, so this is AU and uh, AJ. Oh man, this is a mess right there. Well, it's not a mess because on the weekly, we are once again having a big pump. But right now we have an inside bar, which is always really interesting to see uh, because usually we're going to have a break of either the high or the low of the inside bar, which is on the weekly. So there it is. Uh, this week we opened right here on the 25th and we started with a bullish move, but then we had three days of choppiness. Okay. Uh, on the following time frame. Yeah. So we basically pulled back into this sort of whole pullback area. Right there is it on the daily four hourly maybe eight hours is helping me a lot yeah well basically this sort of level the sort of demand level right there we tapped inside and then we immediately changed structure so there is that lower high it was broken okay so where does it originate from i was gonna say this level and as you can see we're just currently playing uh with those demand levels right there we still haven't made a higher high so it's starting to look a little bit uh flatter like this so it's very hard guys to analyze this one okay eventually i would expect for it to head for the highs to head for this high the weekly high simply because it's bullish okay simply because it's bullish so let's see how it's gonna go but as for a potential opportunity just don't ask me the last as i said the last three days have been really choppy so i'm definitely needing to see a little bit clear price okay i am going to go short only if this low right there gets broken okay so what you have to do is short if broken something like this so you know what you're looking at why this level because this is the potential higher low it still hasn't made a higher high so if we basically right now create a potential shift the market failing to make a new higher high then and then potentially we break this level that's when i'm gonna start looking for shorts and potentially target this zone okay so as you can see there are a lot of scenarios guys and this is why you should never listen to somebody that says market is going up because nobody ever knows okay but the guys that actually know how to adapt to the market those are the guys that are profitable okay so let's see how it's gonna go this is my analysis currently just stuck in this range so not engaging into anything until i see some clear direction a break of this low or a break of this high so let's give it some time entities are pretty much the same as the aussies so nothing too different again we're having the same scenario right there again if you see right now on eu this is what happened as well like we have this range the market manipulates below breaks above pulls back and we continue higher right now we are in a higher high but we still haven't initiated a pullback so this is definitely bound to happen maybe next week because again the monthly is gonna close as a bullish engulf and usually we would expect a little pullback okay dropping onto the daily 
you can see that since the 21st of October, which was I think last Friday or Thursday, we have been consolidating in this range. So the higher low is not yet formed because we haven't initiated the pullback. We're still kind of stuck in this range. But what I clearly see right now is this very, very, very nice flat price action right there, which is definitely going to get smashed potentially. And uh, but yes, if we drop to the four hour again, guys, what is this market doing? Let's just look at it objectively. It is chopping around, right? So we are in a consolidation. And even if you drop to a lower time frame, we just we're just going to force it because if you drop to the hour, you're going to say, oh, man, OK, break, pull back, higher highs, higher, higher high right there, pull back. You, you long it from here. They lose the trade right now. It's short. You can short it from there. It can come into the top of the range. So basically what I'm looking on this one again is a clear full hourly shift. OK, um, if I try to overanalyze it, I can say that we might have actually shifted bearish because this was a push, this was a pullback, higher low, this is a higher high, and the higher low right there was broken, okay? So eventually we can even respond from this little level right there, and I'm just forcing it right now because I want to provide you with something. So let's see, but I'm only going to trade this pair if we have a break of the zone. And then potentially we're going to have a pullback, and then the aim will be to see the market pull back into the 50% of the weekly range, okay? So this is my analysis on NU. Let's not let's not make it too complicated and it's going to be exactly the same with uh, nj we are in this massive pump creating a massive monthly hard high okay so we definitely need a pullback on this one the move started from here possibly gonna end there on the daily we're chopping around on the flowerly we're chopping around um again this one is not ready yet because if you just follow the structure we have a push good pullback lower high lower low beautiful but then we start shorting and the market breaks this high. So this is an uptrend. And then the market pulls back into the higher low and respects it. Okay, but then it still fails to break the high, which means that we're just in this whole triangle formation right now. I don't trade those things, but we're just kind of consolidating right now. So again, what we have to wait for is for a clear break. So we have to wait for a clear introduction of momentum, potentially to break all of these structures right there to close below. Look how flat that is. Look how equal they are they're definitely gonna get smashed and again if you like to search for an area that we can react i see this very extreme level right there so definitely something like nu if we pull back a little bit if we find resistance if we shift the structure then possibly we can take a short but for me the highest uh, probability trade would be a break below 81 close below and then potentially to start seeking lower prices okay so those are the NZDs looking for potential shorts, but definitely not ready yet. Let's have a look at UJ, which is kind of a tricky pair right now. Again, we're having this massive weekly pump to the upside, which is also a monthly pump. And uh, eventually we should expect a pullback. OK, so again, if I just drop my range from the low to the high, dropping onto the daily, we can see that this whole area right there is a beautiful zone for a potential pullback, then in order to start looking for longs, okay? Then dropping onto the floor, to see if the market has shifted. And uh, it definitely looked like it has, because what we have right there is a really nice development. We have these highs, they had taken out, pullback, potential higher low, we reacted and we broke structure so then the market comes inside right there and this is a beautiful short opportunity oh man this was really good right now i just see because this is kind of the setup that i trade on the one minute usually and this is happening on the full hour and if we have a one minute setup inside right there that would have been a banger short okay so as you can see i'm pretty confident actually because i'm not really following uh, uj uh, but it's looking like it's breaking structure it's creating lower highs and lower lows uh, this was the last uh come on this was the last tap into supply area right now this becomes a new supply area and we're just tapping inside it so again the biggest question is are we gonna have a lower low right now the market just tapped it's already reacting so let's see exciting to see if it's gonna go what you can do is you can drop to the 50 minute time frame and wait for a 50 minute uh, shift of market structure uh, currently the higher low is this we still haven't broken it and uh, what i would like to see is a break below this level pullback and a continuation lower if the market is going to go bearish okay keep in mind we can also uh have another run into the highs right there and then to potentially continue lower but uh kind of confident to say that we might actually turn bearish right now on uj 
so let's see we're starting to see some uh bearish flow the market is overall moving down in this sort of trend line as well so let's see okay you can either enter from the 50 minutes with a continuation of this bearish engulf or you can wait for the market to get again inside manipulate possibly above those highs and then to potentially look for the short okay so quite excited to see if we're actually gonna have shorts on uj next week so let's see all right let's have a look at the gbps as always starting from gu so on the weekly time frame this pair is bearish so we have broken below the structure we have made a lower low and also we have fulfilled the range even more than 50 percent uh but yeah from experience i can tell you that gu always loves to pull back to the extremes much higher than 50 percent unlike a, a eu so what i also want to point out to your attention is that from the monthly we had this big pump into the highs and also the range was fulfilled right there are 50 percent so monthly is bullish weekly is bearish so far so there is a big confusion on the higher time frames okay then dropping onto the daily it is also tough to see what is happening right here um yeah it's really tough actually looking at it right now i don't trade gu anymore it's too volatile it's too wicked for me i much prefer to stay to eu or au pairs like this but basically we had a push, a pullback, lower high, lower low. Then this major lower high was broken, okay? And we broke it with a nice pump to the upside. So if the monthly is bullish, right, what's going to happen is the market is going to pull back right now, create a higher low, and then potentially to head higher, okay? This doesn't really resonate with EU and the DXY as well. But yeah, currently myself is struggling to identify what could potentially happen on GU, Okay. I'm gonna drop this daily range okay so let's if we don't want to confuse it too much if the hard time frames are not that clear drop to a where did that go drop to a four hourly time frame okay so let's do hard time frame demand then drop to the four hour so yes let's see what is happening right there so as you can see the most recent price action is bearish we made a high lower low lower high lower low lower high right there beautiful lower high actually on friday we came inside this level and then we just pump to the downside breaking structure okay so currently it looks pretty much the same as eu okay we have a massive pump lower what i would love to see is for the market to give me a pullback into the highs lower high formation and then a potential pump down okay but what could also happen is again as i told you on eu we can maybe give a very little pullback and we can flush into the demand levels okay so then if we tap inside these ones because this is a daily level okay i would be mindful and i would start possibly to question myself if we should be looking for longs from there okay so currently the market is short we can say that it's pulling back towards this area which is unretested and uh, if we have a look at the range from the low to the high we're already into 50% and for GU, it loves to pull back towards those deep levels. There is 705, there is 786. So possibly somewhere inside this pocket right there, which kind of resonates with this uh, daily demand. Okay, so this is my analysis on GU. It's not very clear for me right now. And again, if at the beginning of the week, we initiated with a bullish push, this is going to be nice because we can then potentially look for shorts to drive it into that level but if we start with shorts then i'm gonna start looking for longs from that daily level okay so those are my two scenarios so let's see how they're going to play out and stay tuned for my tuesday analysis on telegram where we're gonna have a look at some updated price action gj is in a massive pump like the other jpys there is our range 50 percent on the daily we are starting to shift i can even see it on the daily we had a push a pullback then the market broke the structure and then it came to create a lower high right there so let's examine it how it looks like on the four hour okay so yeah there it is this was a push this was a higher low this is a higher high the market tries to react fails creates the shift where is this thing creates the shift right there breaks structure lower we came up for a manipulation uh into some level right here which is not really clear to me and then we went to the lows to actually break structure again and what we did there was a similar pair i think it was uj uh that was just tapping into supply and already reacting but this one is already at the lower low okay so what is my setup on this one well the first demand that i see is this one okay so be mindful as the market taps inside this little guy right there we can have a reaction uh, but this reaction is going to be really nice because right now we have this supply area being created if we make a lower low so what could happen is we can make a 
lower low like this and then we can pull back into this area lower high and then we can start heading lower into into all of those lows okay so i'm forecasting a really bearish gj uh but let's see how of course it's gonna go this is how i look at it right now i am starting to see the bearish sentiment starting to kick in of course we are in a pullback stage remember we have a massive pump currently we're in a pullback stage but again i would love to see a slightly deeper pullback I can see that right here we have a little range where a lot of buy orders were initiated so maybe yeah maybe we can see it right there this is the first demand but i do think we can still sh sell it from here so let's see how this one is going to work out okay and if we maybe start with a pullback we can maybe also try to sell it so let's see how it's going to work out um ga which you know is my favorite pair right is just flushing what it was au yeah AU is pumping, this one is flushing, uh, the GBPs are all short, so this one is really, really, really going down. So let's analyze, let's maybe drop to the weekly, we're having a massive pump to the downside, daily, massive pump to the downside. Uh, yeah, this one is really hard, this is one of those pairs that is just trending, so it's really nice, but uh, I do think this one is a great for swing traders, just basically getting on the pullback, it's like... It's like the S&P, but in a downtrend right now. So we just keep selling and selling and selling on every pullback. Right now, what I perceive to be my lower high is this big area. So if the market decides to pull back right there, I'm going to be looking for longs, uh, sorry, for shorts. And this is basically my analysis, all right? If we try to look on the left, like where is potentially the market going? I can see this monthly demand, okay, on the weekly. We can maybe take it as this big sell to buy and uh, yeah well basically this is where i want to see the market come inside but hey this range is uh quite some pips all right what is this four thousand pips okay so we can definitely dive quite deeper into that range so i do think we still have a lot of shorts to go so waiting for that little pullback and a continuation down nothing more to say um euro gbp had all of these flat lows right there all of those flat lows were taken out we pushed into the highs we reacted from supply and uh, then the market pulled back but what usually should happen after a reaction like this we should make a lower low but what we did is we made a higher low okay so this immediately to me indicates that we are bullish we have also broken structure above and right now we're tapping into new demand and we're already reacting so there is your analysis i am looking for longs on this pair and currently what you can do is you can drop to a hourly or 50 minute time frame to look for a potential entry. But uh, yes, currently I'm looking for longs and uh, potentially targeting this level right here. Okay, so let's see how your GBP is going to play. Uh, the bias is bullish on GU. We are bearish. But first of all, yeah, I don't like the correlation too much. I'm like... Because, yeah, a lot is going on and this one is usually chopping around. Of course, there are opportunities, but this pair is a combination of EU and GU. Both of them are flushing. So which one is weaker? Uh, this is what we can see on Euro GBP. So let's see how this is going to play. But in terms of technical analysis, I am bullish. Let's have a brief outlook on gold. So pretty much we're having, again, an inside bar this week, which is always really interesting because in the following week, we can expect a breakout. Okay. And the first level to break out is this one. And then the second one is this one. So let's drop to the daily. Uh, to potentially have a look at those zones right there. Well, it is pretty tricky. Because yeah, if you just have a look at it on a hard time frame, we're just stuck in the range. We are maintaining the lows, but we're failing to make... Uh, uh, sorry, the lower highs, but we're really failing to make a new lower low. And uh, the most recently, we just turned a little bit bullish. We tapped inside a supply on the full hourly, which is this just this week and uh yeah it's very tricky this one so as you can see i had this four hourly low marked and what i told you in the previous week is that i really want to see this one broken before engaging into shorts okay so we actually tapped inside uh on friday then the market opened up right here we pushed into the highs cool we failed to break a new high we came in again but cool we failed to make a new low we came back again into the resistance right there we failed to make a new high and right now we finally can say that we are breaking below this level okay so just looking at this four-hour analysis we can possibly say that gold might run into the lows okay because it has failed to make highs in numerous occasions 
it's right now turning into bearish okay so potentially what we can do is we can wait for a pullback a uh, pullback area is not really clear um yeah maybe this one on the hour which kind of makes a little bit more sense than all of that chopping is right there uh, but basically, yes, what I would like to see on gold right now is if it's going to pull back somewhere inside this level right there, form a lower high, and then if we potentially can head for those weekly uh, inside bar lows, okay? So this is my analysis on gold. I'm more bearish than bullish. Also, the DXY looks pretty bullish, which is bearish news for gold. So let's see how it's going to play out. And let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments. Nothing too much to update on the indices. All of them are making continuous all-time highs, really extended markets. And we haven't had a great pullback, so there are no buying opportunities, unfortunately for me, okay? And uh, yeah, US 30 keeps climbing into the highs. We formed this little stop right there, which could be a potential long opportunity. On the full hourly, we opened, we pushed into the highs. There was that little pullback right there, but we immediately start continuing higher. So there is nothing too much to, to basically comment on. We are still pretty bullish on the full hourly. So if you're intraday trading this, then that's fine to use full hourly levels because you can see that this was demand, broke structure, pulled back, gave you a long opportunity, pushed into the highs. Okay, so this one could have been an opportunity. But for me, I only work on the hard time frames with those things because I invest in them. I don't trade them. So therefore... I am still looking for a crash. I'm also looking for some companies to buy, but everything is looking extended. Apple was looking really good. We also had a dip, but I already bought it. Don't want to make it too big of a holding for my portfolio. Uh, but yes, right now, this one is an all-time highs as well. NASDAQ, massive pump into the highs. Tech companies are amazing. And uh, yes, we're just pushing into the highs. So nothing really to do. We just uh, let it push. And again, if you like to trade the... Uh, the flowerly drop this whole range and potentially if the market pulls back into it you can expect a reaction and possibly you can look for longs and s p which is my favorite instrument is also pushing into the highs so no buying opportunities nothing to react on so i just let it go and potentially wait for a dip nothing too much to update on uh bitcoin is starting to retrace a little bit if you remember i sold my holding somewhere right there i don't even remember where i think i sold them at all time highs or maybe a little bit lower i'm not sure but i still have it and uh currently the full hourly is starting to shift the structure which of course is really good and uh, we are kind of making new lower lows and lower highs so which is also really good so let's see for how long this is gonna sustain and uh, potentially again i'm gonna be looking to start buying from 54k and uh, around 50k will be a golden buying area so let's see how this one is gonna go still waiting on it while well, ethereum just made all-time highs confirmed i um sold my holdings at 43 i think somewhere right there just before the all-time highs but basically what we had is a little pullback into the lows and right now we achieved them which is absolutely phenomenal all right but again, uh, what I do with crypto and with stocks is I trade the higher time frames. So I'm looking for a deeper pullback. This for me is too high to be bought. Of course, cryptos just tend to run up. This is why I ensure that I'm in the market. So I don't sell everything. I just sell uh, like a majority or 50% of my holding. So I'm still in the market, which is definitely good. Okay, so nothing too much to update on the cryptos and basically guys this is how i'm gonna wrap up this weekly outlook and setups i really hope you enjoyed it if you did always smash the like button and please leave a comment below if you enjoyed it what are your thoughts for next week did you have an amazing week did you like the video and just let me know what you guys think i have an amazing idea for giveaways that i'm gonna announce very soon when i get better so make sure to stay tuned for that make sure you're subscribed and with the notification bell in order not to miss that update and i wish you an amazing weekend if you're watching this during the weekend and an amazing week ahead of you